Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Alicia Cozumore, and I am faculty chair here at GCU's College of Education. I wanted to take a moment to share a book with you today that is very special to me. This book is titled Leo the Late Bloomer, and it is written by Robert Krauss. When I was a classroom teacher, I would always begin the school year by reading this book to my students. In this book, we are introduced to the main character, Leo, who, as the title suggests, is a late bloomer. He has a hard time riding a bike, coloring in the lines, even tying his shoes. And his dad gets really worried about him. His dad talks to Leo's mom, and he's just worried that something is wrong with him. Uh, but his mom keeps saying, you know, he's just a late bloomer. And as the story goes on, Leo is always trying to improve. Um, and eventually he wakes up one day and he is able to do all of the things that he struggled with. And then the book ends with Leo shouting, so excited, I bloomed. This book is a great tool to teach virtues of patience and perseverance when you're talking with your students. It's really applicable to any grade level. Uh, you can have so many discussions on how important it is for students to be patient with themselves. You can have robust classroom discussions on the importance of loving yourself and knowing that you will meet your goals and learn, but it may be at your own pace. Conversations can also happen around how perseverance is an important aspect of being successful and growing. Leo didn't just wait to accomplish what he wanted, he practiced every day. Even when he struggled to ride his bike, he still did it every day. So through perseverance and patience with himself, he was able to grow. Uh, one year, I even had a few parents who were worriers, and they worried just like Leo's dad worried um, about Leo. And so at parent-teacher conferences one year, I shared this book with stu uh, parents as well. Uh, to let them know that their child, just like Leo, is going to bloom when they are ready. And you just have to support them. Um, and it's important to know that as teachers as well, that our students will achieve, but at different rates. But we're there to support them and show patience and love as they do so. There are also really great reading strategies that can be used when reading this book. One that is so easily used is making text connections. When students make text connections, they speak or write about how a text connects to themselves, to other texts, and to the world. So while speaking about the importance of patience and perseverance, students are able to articulate the connection between the text and themselves. Applying that through giving patience and grace to their peers, family members, and even you as their teacher can promote the connections of text to the world. So there you have it. We can teach reading strategies and virtues through just this one book. Thank you for sharing this special book with me today. You can find this book and many more in our COE Multicultural Library in Building 33, Room 201. I'd like to know how you would use this book in your classroom. Comment below and share the teaching strategies you would use for Leo the Late Bloomer. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to the Lopes for Literacy YouTube channel and follow GCU COE on Instagram at GCU underscore COE.